Hey guys, so we got our first team of the week in NHL 21, and just like we do with all the other content, we're going to break down all the cards and see if there's any decent values or cards that I think that you should target in NHL 21. So we'll kick things off with the 86 Nikita Kucherov. Now he does have Light the Lamp, which in my opinion, not one of the better synergies in terms of player-based synergies, uh, but his speed now getting into that top end, anything that's in the high 80s, especially at launch, is extremely effective now he's also got a fantastic wrist shot uh 91 accuracy 86 power uh, a defensive awareness at 79 which is quite high as well and then his hand stats are all above 90. uh this is a card that i would compare with the taylor hall so um if there's if they're going to be close in price i would rather have this card over taylor hall um i've used it i've used the primetime taylor hall it's a little bit too expensive for my blood it's around 100k um but i have a feeling that nikita kudrov should fit anywhere right in below that we'll see uh but yeah i would go with him over that hall card but a very good left-handed option there's not a lot of top left-handed winger cards um currently in the game right now a lot of them are righties so this is a valuable card no doubt then we've got the 85 overall, Braden Point, right-handed, does play center, but with only 76 on the face-off dot, you're going to play him on the wing, and he does have the Howitzer synergy, making him extremely lethal on that right-hand side. So, he's got 89 speed and 93 agility with the Howitzer on, and then his shot is all in the high 80s. I would rather have Point than Kucherov, two different positions, obviously, one's playing right wing, one's playing left wing. But I do like this card. Again, it fits the meta quite well and has a very, very valuable synergy with Howitzer. Then we've got the 86 overall, Nathan McKinnon. 89 skating across the, or across the board with acceleration, agility, and speed. Passing playmaker, I'm not a huge fan of, though. Slap shot accuracy goes up, passing, and stick checking. While those are three nice stats, just I would rather have Howitzer or Speedster, in my opinion. Uh, his shot isn't bad, especially on the wing, because you can't play him at center. He's got a historically low faceoff rating at 70 overall, just not going to do it. Now, his other, his base card, I didn't really enjoy all that much. I think there's a lot of good right-handed winger cards, just like Braden Point. I would rather have Point than McKinnon, because I have a feeling he's going to be a lot cheaper. Um, but watch out for this one, as he does fit the meta quite well in terms of those fast uh, wingers that could just fly down the wing. Then we've got the 84 overall, Joe Thornton, signing with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He needed Speedster or Howitzer, in my opinion, to uh, kind of have any value. Um, he does have 79 on the faceoff, so if you are lacking there, but the fact he's 84 overall is kind of going to carry his price, I think, a little too high. Center, you can get away with having slower players, but... It's 79 faceoff. It's not a good trade off. And the fact that he's 6 for 4, 220 is great, but he's just going to play so slow. His shot isn't great either. Uh, so this would be a pass for me, unfortunately, on Jumbo Joe. And we've got the 82 overall Nolan Patrick has the Gladiator synergy. Uh, and again, same kind of thing. He is a center, but he is going to play on the wing with only 76 faceoff. And he's just not fast enough to take advantage of the meta of just being able to have fast wingers again that is the most important thing regardless of size in my opinion in, in terms of the wing now he is very well rounded has an okay slap shot but uh his skating is just kind of rough so this would be a pass for me and then we've got the 82 overall tyler to for signing with the montreal canadians uh 83 acceleration 82 speed a lot like um essentially a lot like nolan patrick uh just uh you know uh, another winger card that you can't play on center and just not fast enough to take advantage of uh, of the gameplay currently so this would be a pass as well carrying on we've got some uh guys that you're not going to put on your team but just want to recognize alexander holtz getting drafted again cole perfetti same thing uh recognizing the draft class jack quinn now from the ottawa 67s gets a card i really like the look of these team of the week cards and then julius natanen um again these would be just for synergies but again i wouldn't really there's way better options like even howitzer on peter tavola bumps his speed up to 77 so obviously you're not going to want to use that and then milan gulas from who was who had a lot of cards featured in nhl 20 uh same kind of thing not going to be able to use him and that'll round out the forwards on defense we've got the 83 shea theodore again the shutdown synergy not all that effective in this game but 62 is a nice size 83 skating you could do worse um, his shot powered 87 is nice as well. This could be a decent left-handed defenseman card before you try and get into those upper echelon guys like Miro Ice get in Paul or um, Paul Coffey or even uh, Victor Hedman. This would be a nice cheaper option. 
Then we've got the 84 John Klingberg. The 83 is actually a sneaky, good, cheap, right-handed defenseman card. 86 speed and acceleration. It's got a decent shot at 88 power, 80 accuracy, good defensive awareness at 87, and as well as stick checking. Uh, this is a very well-rounded card. I wish he had a different synergy, but uh, nonetheless, this is a decent right-handed card that you could look out for to add onto your team. Then we've got the draft pick, Jamie Drysdale, a 74 overall. Uh, again, not going to be able to use him. And then Yuso Valamaki, who looks to make the um, Calgary Flames. Then we've got Victor Berglund, 74 overall, and Caden Gould for getting drafted. And again, you're not going to be able to use those guys. In net for the team of the week, we've got the 83 overall, Thomas Grice. Um, eight, or six, eight, six foot two, 83 overall. Um, have to say he does have the distributor synergy, so he is useful at least in that sense. Um, you know he's got pretty good stats, but that aggression. I just want to see some goalies with a lower aggression. I don't know if they're doing that on purpose, but 87 again, a little bit higher. He's gonna play out of his net a little bit. One timers are gonna go in a little bit more often than someone with a lower aggression. And then we've got Mike Smith, who has been historically one of the better goalies. But at six foot four, his attributes are going to start getting capped uh, because he is a bit taller. So I could see uh, you passing on Mike Smith this year. So, guys, that is going to do it for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And if you want to see the cards a little bit faster, make sure you follow my Instagram. I've got a nice format and template now where I can show you guys on Instagram the card as well as all of the stats and synergies right on Instagram if you uh, can't catch the videos. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Sleeveless Gaming on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.